Yeah, that's right, guys. And what the CDC has said is that all teachers and students, regardless of their vaccination status, should be wearing masks come the fall. It looks pretty certain that masks will be ha have to be worn. Um, and I think it has a lot to do with the, the variant. But the superintendent of the Newington Public Schools told Fox 61 in other ways, guidance will be less strict come the fall. The CDC has said disinfecting surfaces isn't as important. And as opposed to last year when quarantines shut down entire schools, fewer teachers and students will have to isolate from a COVID exposure. The good news, though, is if you are vaccinated and you want to share that with us, then if you're directly exposed, you don't have to quarantine. But masks are perhaps the most divisive issue. A vocal minority has been calling for kids to go unmasked, like at this rally in Newington. People we spoke to feel differently. I think it's going to be time that we start having to mask back up because not everyone's getting their vaccine. I think we have to rely on the data and our scientists, and so I support their decision. And actually, I do teach, so that'll mean that I wear a mask. And, you know, I prefer that my students didn't have to do it. But if that's the safety so that they can get an education, I'm happy to follow the rules. Governor Lamont has indicated state guidance will mirror the CDC. We'll probably continue to follow their lead and say that would be our recommendation as well. Stopping short of any mandates, he left it up to the schools. Every school, you know, has discretion to um, have, you know, stricter standards if they see fit. Many districts are using federal relief money this summer to make health and safety upgrades to their HVAC ventilation and filtration systems. That's been a real priority and that's work that can take place during these summer months when we don't use all of our school buildings on a full-time basis. One thing that still remains unclear, though, will social distancing guidelines be updated? The guidance from our Department of Public Health was that there was not a need to increase that distancing. So coming up in the news at five, are these local school districts still seeing the same teacher shortages that they were dealing with last year? And how quickly are they able to pivot back to distance learning if the COVID numbers continue to trend in the wrong direction? The answer's coming up. For now, we're live in Newington. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.